So yeah, just went out went out to bat and managed to focus myself. Um, it was a great batting wicket. Remember hitting one. Um, hitting, remember hitting a defensive shot um, that hit right in the middle of the bat off Merv Dillon early on in the piece, and thought, "Wow, this wicket's good," and I'm seeing the ball well. Yeah, and things just things just went from there. That's another one. Gone away for four, just inside the boundary. This is magnificent batting. He's taken the West Indies on here, and he's winning. He's gone for the pull shot again, and he's hit that beautifully, and that's another one. Ninety-four, he has, and he's hit it. But when I got my hundred, I um, I think that you'll, it, there'll be a photo somewhere that I, you know, you see Michael Slater and all those guys kissing the emblem, <laughs> kissing the badge on their helmet. I actually tucked, tucked the helmet under my arm because I. I couldn't cope, couldn't cope with what what happened at the beginning of the game. And I suppose it was a reflection on the administration getting rid of Tomo, having that run in with Gus Logie, and so like I, I was like, fuck that! I'm going to tuck my hel helmet under my under my arm and, and just raise the bat. Equal the fourth fastest century in one day international cricket. What an effort! By gee, what will he do now? How can he back that up? Making Prime Minister.